Hi guys, check this out. Okay, well, as soon as I saw those two statue pillars, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be great just to put a door in between the two of them? Now, this video, little video, is about that, but it's also about this beastie here, which I had built in the old, like going back to 0.25 or 0.23 version. I couldn't quite get it right, so I thought I would give it another go for the mountains. There's something special about it, but for the minute, um, it's just a coil of uh, metal parts made into wheels. Let's have a look at that from the other side. Uh, I, just, I, I guess there's only one block each those doors and then um, the opening closed perfectly because of the, the hinges you can put limitations on them. I think it looks, uh, I think it looks quite cool. It could do with like more flames and uh, like emblems and sort of tribal signs on it and stuff. But you know, it's the entrance to uh, my crib man. So that's good. This thing here is um, so far because it's in early stages of development, I'm going to keep playing with this, is uh, I'll have another gratuitous, gratuitous shot of the the, uh, the gates first. I really like them. Let's say they, I could have put up more, you know, flames and stuff and barbs and emblems. It would have looked really cool. But let's have a look at what this thing can do, apart from just trundle over houses and stuff. There you go. See that? It's made of pistons. Uh, it took me ages to figure out how to get them to behave as perfect wheels and then what happens is you just press H and you've got it all on lock and uh, the wheels just grow to a normal size and it becomes this like, really cool shredder. I had hoped that it would be a really good climber but uh, it didn't quite work out as well as I thought. I couldn't get traction pads on it and the, and the, 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 the blocks themselves just slip and slide all over the, all over the rocks so it's, I'm struggling to get it to operate as that. However, what I might do is um, use it as a rocker bogey fashion, put up another pair of wheels on it and make it into a giant rocker bogey and see if I can get on anywhere with that. But it does tend to slip around a bit. But I thought you would like to see it because it's, it's quite novel. Like I say, it took ages to build just one of those wheels just to get it going. There you go, that's it in action there. It just flips up and down, no problem at all. There's a lot of supports in it because it's really, really woolly. And I think that might be another problem with it is that... Um, because it's so jelly-like and woolly, it loses a lot of its energy as it tries to move along. You know, it's not getting all getting put into the ground, it's shaking about all over the place. So it's um, lack of rigidity might work against it. Any new engineers out there maybe tell me about that, I don't know. It's good to see that lots of other people are building um, rocker bogeys and crawlers and everything. Already. I mean, it was obvious that they were going to anyway because this place is just screaming for it. So I'm going to be making uh, loads more of them for the time being but I've got some other plans as well I've got some other things that I want to do not just crawl about on the rocks um, because it is, it's, it's an amazing sandbox I'm sure you've all figured that out by now and we're all going to have a great time with it but this looks good I need to stop using this skin as well this modern day one because I just want to use it on everything it just looks so great um, I'm sure there is a few more skins out now so I am going to have a look at some of the others and maybe try them out but it's just, it's so refreshing just to be able to pick different colour schemes and just build machines that are, colour schemes that are more in keeping with what it is you're trying to do. So anyway, going back to this fella, you can see he's, he's, he doesn't do too bad, but it's when it has to try and get power into the wheels to get up over the slope, it just starts sliding. You know, I mean, I, I turned, I, what I did is, it's been driven by steering blocks and the steering itself is very, very poor. Again, it was just experimental. So I'm going to take all the things I learned on this one and then try and prove on it uh, somehow. Because I just like the whole idea of expanding wheels. But they need to be able to grip a little bit better. It's quite good for, let's say, shredding the stuff though. For killing things, it's great. You can do a whole village in and you can watch a blood flying. So that's quite nice. But um, a little bit more performance would be good. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. This is um, like three besieged videos in, in as many days. I'm really kicking off just now. Just got so many ideas and so many things I want to try. Anyway, guys, I will catch you later. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll chat to you soon. Okay, bye.